this is just some expanded metal that I got from my local used steel place. Project that when you cut metal with a torch like this, it leaves the metal kind of rounded so that you won't get cut on it. So you'll see here that I cut almost to the middle and then the rest of the way to the edge. And the last thing I did was cut the middle link so that it would be easy to fall on either side of the barrel. sawzall because I want a clean and straight edge for the hinge in the middle. I'm using the bench grinder to remove the paint to get a nice clean weld on the hinge. Make sure your hinge is laying flat. that the hinge is strong. Captain Overkill. marking out where I want to cut some of the metal so I can bend some tabs over the side to attach it to the barrel. So 
I'm using pretty good sized pop rivets and fender washers to hold the lid on. Because these pop rivets are so hard to pop, I'm using a pneumatic powered rivet gun. The reason I didn't weld it on is this lid won't last nearly as long as the barrel and I want to make it easy on myself to replace. So I can just grind a couple of pop rivets off, make a new lid, and bing bang boom, I'm back in business. This is the sixth or seventh fire I've had with this barrel. I shot two cans of spray paint, the high temp stuff, on it to make it look decent. The kids and I have been making a game of having a little fire in the backyard every Saturday morning. This concludes the third burn barrel video. I hope you enjoyed watching and maybe you'll make one for yourself. Thanks for watching and see you next time.